but I was impressed with how wore how how wore it well. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a quick review and swatches video for y'all today on this palette right here. This is the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. Now if you watch my channel, you know that I am a huge fan of BH Cosmetics baked shadows. I love them. So when I saw that they came out with this palette, I had to jump on it and get it right away. So in this review, I'm gonna do like I normally do. We will talk about the pricing, we'll look at the packaging, we'll look at some swatches, I'll talk about the formula and just overall, what am I thinking about this palette? And just do a little review and swatch a stack video. So let's get to it. <laughs> so the price of this palette will vary a little bit based on whatever sales BH Cosmetics has going on at the time, but I would say somewhere in the 15 to 20 dollar ish range is generally probably what it will cost. I think I got it for around 17 or so, and I just looked and it's 15.99 right now. So it kind of varies day to day, but still a really good price point probably somewhere in that 15 to 20 ish dollar range. So great price point. I think the packaging is so pretty on this one. Now it is like a cardboard. It's not like crazy heavy feeling or super duper fancy, but it's functional, keeps the price point down. And also it's like a really beautiful design on this one. It kind of like catches the light and I think it's just beautiful. So I think they did a really, really nice job with the design on this one. And it has the little like outside sleeve deal situation. So it's got the little sleeve and it is the same size as like the Galaxy Chic and the Supernova. So kind of like, looks like Supernova's like, I don't know, cousin or something. So kind of has that sort of a look to it. And then this one is like the, you know, really like colorful looking one. So I like the packaging. I think it's really nice, great price point. I already started swatching it, but then I thought I'd better show you a little look-see inside the palette. So here's what it looks like. So overall, it's just a very warm tone palette, a lot of golds, kind of like um, coppery, reddish shades, bronzy colors, a purple. So it's overall just a very warm tone palette. And honestly, when I first saw pictures of it, I wasn't like crazy drawn to it because I thought, it's another warm tone palette. And while I love warm tone colors, there's just been a lot of those coming out recently. So I wasn't super duper excited about the color selection, but I just ordered it because I love BH Cosmetics Baked Shadows. But then I got the palette. I feel like this is something different as far as warm tone colors goes. These are so unique. You'll see them in the swatches. They're just beautiful, duochromy, gorgeous, warm tone shadows, but overall it's a very warm tone palette. So there is a little look inside of the palette. And here it is in comparison with the Galaxy Chic palette on top and the Supernova on bottom. So you can see the Solar Flare really has like a very different feel to it in that it really has like an overall tone to it. The Galaxy Chic and the Supernova really kind of have like a collection of colors and a collection of warm and cool tones. So the Solar Flare is just really warm toned and like I said, that didn't initially draw me in, but let's get to the swatches. So starting with the top row of the palette. So what I did is this side I swatched dry and this side I swatched with a brush and Mac Fix Plus. So this side I used my finger and just dry and then I used the brush and some Mac Fix Plus so you can see it foiled. So same way, that's dry, that's foiled, that's dry, that's foiled, blah, 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 blah. But they all look amazing. But I wanted you to get to see them foiled because that's like really where they come alive and they are just amazing so starting right here this one is beam this next one is sunray this one is heat this one right here is wavelength I'm trying to move it around so you can see like all the dimension that one right there is fireball and then that bronzy shade at the top that one is anti-gravity so they are just beautiful. They're really pretty dry, but when they're swatched with um, a mixing medium like Mac Fix Plus, they're just incredible. So, so gorgeous. And that's how I like to wear them on my eyes. I like to use some Mac Fix Plus. Okay, second row of the palette. This one is Orb. That one is Burst. This one is Energy. This one took a little bit of layering to get it to work Foiled. So that one might actually work better dry, but it's still a beautiful color. This one right here is Galactic. Oh my gosh, that's so intense and beautiful. This one is Impact. And then that purple is Gamma Ray. It's 
So there is the second row. And then the bottom row is definitely my favorite because there are some amazing duochromes in this one. It's so beautiful. So this one is Pulsar. This one right here is Spectrum, one of my favorites. It's like a peachy, pinky, light champagne bronze. It's just gorgeous. So much happening with that one. This one is Chromosphere. That one's also awesome. It's like a really cool, um, funky looking duochrome gold. It's just so cool. This one right here is Photosphere. That one is awesome too. It kind of has like a green undertone. And when you use it foiled, that comes out even more. So it's just gorgeous. This one, oh my gosh, might be my favorite in the whole palette. I just absolutely love it. It's what I have on my lids right now. I literally just have this and my bronzer in my crease. And that's it. I have it on my lower lash line and on my lid. It's absolutely amazing. That one is ozone. And then the very top one there is magnetic. I mean, just... You could just stare at them because they're so, so beautiful. Love this row. Now let's talk about the formula on these. Blendability, pigmentation, how they wear throughout the day, and just kind of how they are to work with. I love the formula on BH Cosmetics Baked Shadows, but they are a baked formula. So if you've never used a baked shadow, if you use them dry, they are a more dry feeling textured eyeshadow. So I prefer to wear them with like a mixing medium like MAC Fix Plus because I feel like they are um, less powdery that way. You have less fallout with them. It really brings out that like metallic intensity to them. So I pretty much always use these foiled. Um, I'll occasionally like sometimes I'll apply them foiled and then I'll layer them dry on top of like the foiled layer and it builds on itself so nicely. So I really don't do a lot of like blending with these. I really blend out with other matte shadows that I have from, you know, whoever, or I just use my bronzer in my crease. So I do pair these with other things, but I love them for what I use them for, which is like just really, really intense, metallic, beautiful lid shades. And these absolutely fit that. So if you're looking for like a full eye look, I think it would be a little bit difficult to get that with these because they're all gonna be uh, metallic-y, shimmery sort of looking. So I feel like it'd be hard to get a full complete eye look with this. But if you pair it with some other things, it's gorgeous, it's amazing. These wear really well throughout the day. I almost always wear them with a primer, unless I forget my primer, which I did one day, and they still wore really well. They definitely wear better with a primer, but I was impressed with how wore how how wore it well. Mm -hmm. How well it wore throughout the day without a primer. So really, really good shadows. Love the formula. You can probably already tell as I have raved throughout this video, I absolutely love this palette. I think it's just beautiful, such nice quality. I love the collection of the colors. I love the duo chrominess to them. They're just beautiful. I mean, I love these two palettes. This one made it into my top five palette video. This one was a close runner up. And I don't know, this one is, this one's up there. It's at least tied with my Galaxy Chic, but I, I might even like it just a tinge more. I don't know, they're so different, it'd be hard for me to choose. So I would say if you don't have the Galaxy Chic, I would definitely check that one out. But if you're looking at this one, Highly, highly recommend it. I love this palette. All right, guys, so that's my overall review on the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you think about this palette, if you checked it out or if you looked up swatches. What are you thinking about it? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.